Good evening, my name is Jill Wolf, and this is my husband Brett Wolf, and we're the owners and operators of Wolf's Barbecue. Wolf's Barbecue is located downtown Marion, Virginia, and we opened July 3, 2013. When we opened, we were one of five dining options on Main Street. As of today, that number has doubled, yet we have managed to establish growth in sales and profit every month of every year. Based on customer feedback and other towns wanting Wolf's Barbecue in their area, we realized that we needed to feed more people, more barbecue, in more locations. So what is the solution? For Wolf's Barbecue to go mobile with Wolf's Texas Barbecue Bandwagon. Our business model has five key principles. The first one is make food people love. After two years of business, we realized that people <coughs> are willing to pay for good quality barbecue. Second is to keep it simple. Uh, we're going to use the philosophy of famous pit master Aaron Franklin. Uh, we're going to learn one thing. We're going to do it well. Nobody's going to care if the only thing on our menu is brisket, ribs, and sausage, as long as it's good. But they will always remember that one thing that we haven't quite mastered yet. Third, quality is king. We use all natural, humanely raised meats. Our beef is all prime grade black Angus, and our pork product is a heritage breed direct product. All of our meats are smoked fresh daily. We're also going to maintain limited hours. We only plan to operate it Tuesday through Saturday, 11 until we sell out. Uh, that should be approximately three to four hours a day. Biggest reason for this is the long cook process and to keep the product as fresh as possible. <clears throat> the last one is know our customers. If we're set up in a location that doesn't work, we can move the mobile food unit to a location that is successful. Our main goal is to spark interest, to have customers come to Marion, Virginia to visit our brick and mortar restaurant. Our competition in Whitfield, Virginia is Smokey's Barbecue and Abington Bowfire Smokehouse. So how are we different? We're going to offer authentic Central Texas style barbecue which currently is not offered in Southwest Virginia and probably only a handful in the state of Virginia. Um, we're also going to offer a fun, hip, and exciting place to dine at. Um, as she mentioned, uh, we are able to change locations easily, so if one place doesn't work, we can go somewhere else. And we're also able to change our menu easily, so if we discover that, say, in Abingdon, one item doesn't work but works well with full, we could always adjust the menu accordingly. Our marketing plan consists of nine components. Uh, first, word of mouth, which worked extremely well at our brick and mortar location. We think that that will translate well with the mobile food unit. Location, we're looking for high visible, high traffic areas in Abingdon, Withville. We're also looking into breweries, farmers markets, uh, Virginia Highlands, and public parking, both of which we would need to wait for uh, approval in order to set up there. We're going to create a website. We've already got a website for the restaurant. We're going to create a second one for the mobile food unit, have both intertwined with one another. We're going to utilize social media, mainly Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All three will be used differently to focus on different target customers. And we will also be using face-to-face -face and business-to-business -business marketing as well. We'll also be doing promotions through social media. We'll make it a gaming experience for our customers. Um, we'll be doing fundraisers. This will allow us to continue to give back to the community in addition to give a percentage of the sales to the organization. We'll be doing catering. This will be, um, we'll be able to enhance our current catering business. And lastly, festivals. We'll be going to um, look into Bristol Rhythm and Roots, Virginia Highlands, Washington County Fair, Chautauqua Festival, and we'll be able to serve large amounts of food at one time. So how are we going to do this? We're going to hire people. We're looking to hire prep cooks, a pit master intern, a social media marketer, and, we're, and an order taker. We're going to cross train the employees to work at our current restaurant. In addition, we're going to hire, we'll have four part-time employees, hopefully move them to full-time depending on our growth after we get the mobile food service up and running. So we have a timeline. We want to hire the new employees by March 1st, 2016, and we are hoping the mobile food unit will be up and running by March 16th, 2016. So how much is all this going to cost? 
A new food truck costs anywhere between $55,000 to $100,000. Used anywhere from twenty dollars to $45,000. We've already been approved for a $45,000 equipment loan through Wells Fargo, and we are also willing to invest up to $15,000 in our own business savings. Our projections are based on historical data from the restaurant. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask during the Q&A. Our sales for year one, we project to be 169,000. Year two, 189,000. Net income in year one, we do project a loss of $1,500, but then expect a gain in year two of $8,100. Cash flow is expected to be positive in both years, approximately 500 in year one and 5,000 in year two. So what does all this mean for Southwest Virginia? One, we're creating jobs. We're going to create at least four jobs. We ideally will create a couple more full-time positions. Two, we're going to in increase the tax rate. Not only, if we're going to set up in Whitfield and in Abingdon, we're going to be paying the local t mills tax for those locations. We also realize that the property taxes in, our, in for Smith County will go up because of our mobile food unit and the equipment involved. And um, we also expect to create a new market segment. Currently in Southwest Virginia, there are no mobile food units. Um, it's a growing trend in the restaurant business and we want to lead the way in this area. We don't expect us to be the only one doing this for very long. Um, it'd be nice to think that eventually we can establish a food truck park uh, in either Withfield, Abingdon, or Marion. And lastly, uh, most importantly, growth in other small businesses. Uh, the, the ideology is that customers of the food truck at Withville or Abingdon will eventually want to come back to Marion to our brick and mortar location. We realize that when they come there, they're going to probably realize what Marion has to offer and what makes it special. And while they might dine with us one time, we expect them to come back and stay in Marion at one of the local hotels or bed and breakfasts and maybe dine somewhere else and go visit our park. All that's going to do is increase tourism in Marion increase the tax, increase the growth, increase businesses for other people as well. So what do you say? You want to hop on the barbecue bandwagon? <laughs> Thank you.